All right, you guys are still with me. This is great. All right, so we're going to talk about skills now. So Tayrell, my lead champion, has two has three skills. Excuse me, A1 obviously. That's kind of the default skill for all our champions. Also has two others. Has the A2 skill I have on a four turn cooldown and an A3 skill I have on a four turn cooldown. So you can see as soon as I put those cooldowns in here underneath the skills, they populate as soon as they come up. Every four turns that A3 is going to go. Every four turns that A2 is going to go. Now, it's not just that simple. We have to understand that champions are going to prioritize their skills. He's got three skills to choose from. Which one does he choose? Well, each champion is going to prioritize different skills. But in general, they're going to use their highest level skill first and then their next highest level skill after that and so on down the line. So if you have a champion with an A4 ability, chances are that's the skill they're going to prioritize and have go first. If they don't prioritize that A4 skill, you want to put the cooldown for the skill they do prioritize in that A4 slot. Now, of course, it can get a little confusing when dealing with champions that prioritize different skills. We're going to go over that in a later video dealing with potential problems. But in the meantime, let's skip ahead and we're going to go back to how to speed tune our team with the skills involved. So let's go back to Steel Skull. Steel Skull has a four turn cooldown on her A3. And as I told you before, I want her to use that right after the stun before Valkyrie does her counterattack, before the two AoEs come up to help our team survive longer. So as you can see, it's her most prioritized skill. She's gonna use that first, but we don't want her to use it first necessarily. What we want is once we get into the tune, once we get into a rhythm on our team, right here, once we're taking two turns after that stun, once we're in our four, three speed ratio, that's when we want that uh, A3 ability to come out. So we need to go all the way back there and figure out where it is. Well, I know that if I put a three turn delay on her cooldown, that'll come at the right time. And this delay bar right here helps you set up your skills so you can see how they really work within the game. So basically what I'm gonna say is in three turns, after on in three turns, Steel Skull's gonna use her A3 ability and then it'll use it based off of the cooldown from there on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, and there you go. She takes one, two, three turns, and then uses that A3 ability. And you'll see that one, two, three, four, that's her cooldown. She's gonna to continue to use that ability, one, two, three, and four, from there on out. And that's a great way to be able to simulate when and where you want your abilities to proc. It's really good for counterattack champions, like say, Valkyrie here. If I put a two turn cooldown on there, she's gonna use that right before the stun every single time, which is exactly what we want, or right before the AOEs, excuse me. So it's important, it's a, it's a nice uh, tool for you guys to use to be able to better speed tune your teams. So that's available to you as well. The last thing I should add is that you can include a speed aura. If you have someone like a high Katoon in your lead, you all you have to do is put in the percent bonus and it'll change the speeds, the calculated speeds you can see right there, of all the champions that use it. And that's gonna cover the basics of skills and how to use them with the speed calculator. There are some more advanced uh, problematic possibilities, and we'll go over those in a later video dealing with problems. The next video that you're gonna see is gonna show you where to find all this information on your champions so that you can input it into the calculator.